Hello, this is Diane Jepson, Director of Enzyme Peak Academy, here to talk about learning communities. In our academy, we organize our elementary, middle, and high school students into groups of no more than 25 students that we call learning communities. This is for our live programs. Students in a learning community will take most of their live classes together. And this is wonderful because students get to meet together in their learning community with other students from different states and even different countries. And their community feels like a club. You know, students in other online schools have very different students in each course, so it's difficult for them to get to know each other. But in our learning communities, friendships and familiarity are cultivated, and that's very important to students. Also, these relationships greatly enhance the quality of their learning and their live class discussions. So we're very happy with the culture that's created in our learning communities and the happiness that it gives students as they attend their classes. Now, I wanna show you what a learning community schedule would look like. Students choose their learning communities based on the electives that are chosen the mentors that are teaching that learning community, as well as the fellow students. So they may uh, coordinate with other students to be sure that they're all in the same learning community. Okay, so here's our schedule for our live courses. This happens to be the high school class schedule. And you see each of these rectangles is a learning community schedule. You have one, two, three, four, five, six communities here. And you see here's the class times. We've put a few time zones in there for your convenience. And then here's the courses on Tuesdays and the courses on Thursdays. So you see here in Learning Community 1, they have uh, literature on Tuesday and then writing and then science hour. And on Thursday, they have their history class and then an elective hour and another elective hour. So in the elective hour, we see in first semester, they can choose between music appreciation or computer technology. And in second semester, they can choose between art appreciation or principles of leadership. So different learning communities share their elective hours. For example, this, this second hour on Thursday is the same as the second hour on Thursday for learning community too. So you'd have students from both learning communities in those electives. <clears throat> Every learning community has English, literature, science, and history or geography, and two elective hours. So what you would do to choose your learning community is you would first decide which electives you'd like, and then you would find the learning community that has those electives, and multiple learning communities have the same electives, so that gives you some variety. You would check to see which mentors are teaching the core classes, the English and the literature, the history, and then you would pick your science. So every learning community has a science hour, and um, they have options. So for example, this one, you could choose biology or earth science, and learning community four, you could choose earth science or biology or chemistry. So you'd make sure to choose a learning community that offers the science that you would like. Okay, so here's our middle school learning communities. There's four to choose from there for this particular school year. We'll add more communities as we grow. So you can see in learning community one, they have art appreciation or music appreciation, whereas learning community three for the one elective hour, they have principles of liberty one and part two. But all of the learning communities have literature, science, geography, English writing, and history. Here's our elementary school learning communities. So they'll have uh, both of them, learning community one and two, and others that we'll add as we grow, literature and writing, and then the unit studies twice a week, and then the math lab twice a week. So I hope that, I hope that clears up the, the subject of learning communities for you, and we look forward to serving you.